Well, new tonight, we are hearing of a break in the case involving a credit card skimmer stealing information from potentially hundreds of people in the inland northwest. Post Falls detectives say they can't tell us which convenience store was targeted until they make an arrest. We did get a first-hand look at the skimmer. It's right here. You see it behind us. Detectives tell us it takes less than 10 seconds to install one of those in this special report, new at 6.30. Skimmers uncovered in these TikTok videos. Card skimmer. They may look flimsy. It clips right on there just like a cell phone uh, case would. We call it an overlay device because it overlays right on the point of sale terminals. But these sophisticated right devices can steal your info in one swipe and your PIN number. It's got its own battery source. It's also Bluetooth. All while the scammers sit in the parking lot. And you're still able to buy your bag of chips at the store. You'd never know. Detective Sergeant Neil Urig has been in digital forensics for about 10 years. He's holding the latest overlay skimmer found inside a Post Falls convenience store. They will bring this device into the store, distract the cashier, and put this right over the top of the point of sale terminal. And this took all of but 10 seconds for them to install. He says employees at the store found the skimmer about 18 hours after it was installed. But in some cases, skimmers have stayed hidden for weeks. As I've had a number of our police officers say, hey, I was at that convenience store on that day using my card. So everyone can be victimized by this. Branch manager Michael Whipple with Numerica Credit Union says their financial crimes investigation unit works with members as soon as they notice suspicious charges. As long as we can make sure that it wasn't you uh, and that you were scammed out of the money, we're going to be able to help you get that money back. Sergeant Urig recommends contactless pay, either with your phone or with the tap to pay feature on your card. He says scammers haven't figured out how to steal that data yet. As technology advances, scammers are going to learn to, to take advantage of us. Don't be afraid, though, when you're out at a store and you see something that doesn't look right, call it out. The only way it stops is if people are more vigilant about their monies. And Aaron, I have to tell you, I was surprised when I held that skimmer mm. in my hand. Obviously, yeah. it's uh, still evident, so it has the plastic bag around it. But how lightweight it is, it really is like a cell phone case. So some ideas for helping you if you're out right, at yeah. you know, a convenience store. Those buttons are sticky. Mm. If there's an overlay device, it's going to feel a little bit different. Okay. But you have to be looking for it. Yeah. You, you know, you have to be paying attention. And that was the detective's point is everyone's going to have to really be kind of suspicious of these things. Which is not a bad idea. I mean, you should be a little bit suspicious when you're out there and you see something you don't normally see. That's the time you want to Maybe Yanka, I've done it before, especially when I'm at a gas station I don't Shake normally go to, and you're like, mm, I don't know, or mm -hmm. that's why I like to use my contactless card, you just a quick tap. And that's the best way to do it. His preferred method, uh, you know, the detective himself says that he likes to use the Cash App um, or those apps on your phone because they just haven't been able to hack those yet. Yet is the key word, but good tips there. Yeah. Thanks, thanks Kirsten. Sarah.